We don't talk to a lot of actors on this show. Honestly, most of them hate us and would never come on. But even those who would come on aren't that interesting when you talk to them. When they're not reading a script, they don't have a lot to say. Sad but true. Kirstie Alley is not that person at all. Kirstie Alley has been in films and on television for 40 years. When she has no script in front of her, she has a lot to say. More than we even imagined. It was an amazing conversation. Went on for about an hour on Tucker Carlson today. It's on Fox Nation. Here's part of it. Four years ago, I was on a set and I spoke up. I didn't know it was going to be some big deal. You know, I think I'm going to vote for Trump. Oh, my God. Some of the producers took me aside and go, I'm going to, too. But if I, if anyone hears me say that, I will never work again, especially for this group. And wow. I was like, what? So it was a little bit ignorance, do you know? Did you take it seriously when they said that? That they would be fired? Yeah. That I they knew would they would work. be. Oh, wow. I, I, uh, when they first said it, I thought... Right. Who cares? Right. Then in the last four years, I've seen like, right. Who cares? Because people go, you're so brave. I go, no, I think I'm stupid because honestly, it is a real situation. It is a real and it is a real blackballing situation. And it's so strange to me because artists are free thinkers for the most part. Yes. Do you know? And they all think differently in my whole career. You know, let's say when I did Cheers, everybody was different. Yes. They had different political views. They had different. That's what made everyone interesting. So I, this whole thing is just psycho to me. I don't. So it wasn't that way. I mean, people were liberal or gave to the Democratic Party, but there was a freedom of thought and expression that allowed right. artists to create. Right. I'm not saying we never said, like on Cheers, I, I think there was only like one of the cast members that was going to vote Republican. And I remember us all going like, well, he's crazy. So of course he's going to vote Republican. Right. You know, we, but it was like, who cares? Did you try and kick him off the show or? No, we didn't try to get him fired or kicked off. Or but we didn't, there weren't any of those kinds of things. You know, in most of my career, you know, have guys doing blow and you have guys in rehab and they're not kicked right. off. Women tend to get kicked off shows more if they're doing some drugs and with <laughs> prostitutes. But, you know, you know, men get like 12 chances. Yeah. And that, that's the only thing I can say about show business was women may get one chance if they're lucky and men get 12 or 15. But that's such an interesting point that it's endlessly tolerant of certain people's deviation from the norm, their eccentricities, their drug problems, yeah. sleeping with the wrong people. No, and that's kind of fine. No, you can be cooking meth and sleeping with hookers. Yeah. But as long as apparently you didn't vote for Trump. <laughs> so it's, mm -hmm. so it's you know, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone a bit in the with, with the whole concept of it, because I, you know, an example is on Twitter. I had many celebrities followed me and now I think like three follow me. So it's they actually took you off the list. They yeah. unfollowed you. Oh, yeah. Be and I am going, I'm the same person, you know. I'm the girl who voted for Obama twice. Right. And I'm like, oh, so you liked me when I voted for Obama, and now you're this? And it sort of had me, it's made me have to rethink, weirdly, my whole friendships. I just started watching certain things in the world. Like, I wanted it, simple things. I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, a rocket scientist. I was like, I want people to have jobs. I want people to have, you know, I'd like gas to cost less money. I'd like people to have good schools and just really common sense kind of things. <laughs> yeah. So when I would listen, when I was listening to Trump say what he was going to do, I thought, well, you're saying you're going to do what I think we should do. He's he's not like Mr. Drug Drug. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's not Mr. Pharmaceutical. He's not. And, and I have my own views on what's going on in our country and how many artists we've lost to fentanyl and other drugs. And <laughs> I was sitting right in front of our faces. So I felt like I'd I like to give this guy a chance. So his firmness on drugs. Drugs kill people. They're obviously hurting the country. He said that out loud. He said the pharmaceutical, you know, like, why is everybody doing drugs now? Why is everybody on pharmaceuticals? Well, it's, uh, well, it's such a great question. Why? Uh, why? We why are we all suddenly mentally ill? Why? Why? We aren't. And if we are, it's not that I don't agree that everything, and this is, he may say this or he may not. I don't know. I don't want to put words in his mouth. But 
it's not like symptom, it's not like depression doesn't exist. It doesn't. It's not like postpartum doesn't exist. Right. It's not like anxiety doesn't exist. It's what do you do about it? That's right. So in my universe, it's what do you do about it? And my. I said something on Twitter the other day. I said, let's stop drugging everybody. It was like, oh, are you a doctor? And I thought, do I have to be a... God, I really want to cuss right now. I want to say the F word. I want to say the F word so bad. Do I have to be an effing doctor to not want to take a million pharmaceuticals? Or how about if I'm depressed, I find out why? Do I have to have a disease? Wait, find out why? Yeah. (laughs) If I'm anxious, why? It's like when I did coke, I was anxious all the time. Duh. I was drugging myself to death. As are many. Well, apparently, former President Trump watched the entire hour. We think it's worth it. Hope you do. It's as simple as going to foxnation.com.